what? I was trying to figure out how, how long you've been here in the continuum. This is actually your fifth yeah. week. Right. So oh. you knew. Or were you just watching me count my fingers? I was watching you count your fingers. And once you got to five, you were out. That's right. <laughs> well, hey, everybody. It's uh, the fifth installation of Shack West being here in New Hampshire with us. And today, we have a different approach. Uh, we're not going cellar hole hunting. We're not going river hunting. We're not taking them to the top of a mountain and trying to kill them. But that may come up at some point. Uh, we are doing an old pasture. We are in the vicinity of where an old home site stood. But over here, they did some farming on this side. And we think they had some livestock over there. And the trips we've made here previously, we've found lots of stuff from the early 1900s all the way back to, say, the mid-1700s. So we figured it would be great for you guys to have that. More options. Like but this is good picking in here. Lots of spoons. Love spoons. So. Oh, good. Then we can make it an episode. I think that should not be an issue here. Yay. Yeah. Yay. So everybody have fun. I will chase you around and document. I'm gonna dig a little too, though. Good. Good. Please do. But Please. I want you to. Yeah. I like chasing people with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I usually use a stick. We hope to call you over. A lot. Yeah, I hope so too, actually. Because there's nothing worse than walking around for two hours and no one's calling my name. Yeah. Alright, you, know you ready? Ready. More than ready. Engage. <laughs> I will endeavor to persevere. You guys are going to dig like that close all day long. <laughs> hey, I think I got something here. Well, here we Ten go. pointer about this far down. Yep. Piece of a shoe buckle frame. Oh, wow, you're right. And it's massive. Pivots right there. Holy mackerel. That's sweet. That is a great way to start, Cindy. Yeah, this is my first first find of the day. Wow, that thing so was... So now I'm cursed. That, that thing was <laughs> huge. Awesome. All right, so I'm, I'm hanging around Cindy because I haven't gone anywhere yet. Um, that is a valve cap for a Model T of sorts. Nice. <laughs> Have you ever found one of those? Uh, no, because I thought it was a lipstick. Yep, no, it's a... Uh, but I haven't really looked it over too careful yet. That's what it is, and last time we were here, uh, during Alpo and Ramen, uh, Wayno's dug one. Oh, okay. So, excellent, nice. You just bridged a 200 year gap between your finds. That's okay. Told you the place was gonna be cool. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. What's up, Keebs? Hey. Uh, no, the what you're looking at that the audience is not seeing was here. Here. Somebody went analog crazy. Bottlers. Probably. Uh, Cindy went from zero to 1700 shoe buckle frame. Ah. Immediately to Model T valve cap <laughs> cover. Wow. So Ex I told it's gonna be a good place. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And more about to achieve. Uh, right behind me. Huh. Well, not directly behind me because it's a tree, but. <laughs> Let's go bottom feed. Yeah. 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 So, should be good. I haven't even started yet. But... 1700 shoe buckle frame. All oh, right, Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to head out down there. Well, I had some good luck and I got two keepers. Two? Yeah, two. The first one is a valve stub cover. <laughs> 
I just brought you up in conversation. Did you really? Yeah, because Cindy just dug one. Oh, nice. And last time you were here, you dug one. And then I Very dug good. a button. Nice, Wainos. It's a different type of button, but a button nonetheless. Yeah, it's like a snap type button. Yeah, yeah. It was way over there by uh, Aunt Jemima's Hill. Nice. <laughs> good job, man. Oh, yeah. There's stuff out here. believe I have a buckle. Really? See, he believes he won't tell us. He wants it to be a cliffhanger. So, I heard this, which is a bolt that's been modified. They put a devil's fork or tail on it. Right. And so I had to dig through the iron, and then when I got it out of the way, that was there. If you could extract that one, Charlie, because I'm old and I have a hard time bending over. Is that a shoe buckle? Or a knee buckle. Belt buckle. Oh, a belt buckle. I never thought about belts. Well, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying that's what I'm guessing. It's a washer. Is you it think really? it's a washer? <laughs> is it really? It just could be because this other thing was a bolt. It's it's not like a solid washer. Oh, so it, it's a, a compression washer that was meant to to squish, <laughs> to seal. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Sorry, Cliff. Oh, a false alarm. Sorry, folks. I moving, just wanted to say on. sorry, Cliff, because I think in the last, you know, few days, <laughs> you've been saying sorry, Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. I love saying that. Yeah, I know you do. So, <laughs> sorry, Cliff. <laughs> Buenos. Yeah. Should I tell them about the Magnum uh, anthills or just let them discover them? Uh, you may want to because although Ants in the Pants was a popular game, it's not that fun in real life. <laughs> Over there, those are anthills and they are roughly two feet tall and probably six to eight feet around. I forgot to fair warn them before they <laughs> went in that area. And like I just told Wainos, all you got to do is stop and look down at the ground, and there are ants everywhere. You got something down there? Uh, I got a nice stone pile, big stones, and then tiny stones. You're in the danger zone. I know. I forgot to warn the group. I, I, I told a couple of them. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Don't go near those. Hold on. Come down and see you. Hey. I found something. At first I thought it was like a Garand clip or something, but it's not. It's actually got fancy on it. So at first glance, it looks ammo related, but then it's got these little finials there. Yeah. And then look at that. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. It could be suspension, but I've never seen the top of suspension like that. Right, but definitely has strap decor to it. Yeah. Huh. Wow, way down here. Yeah. Next to this huge picked stone pile. Yeah. And then adjacent to this tiny stone. So this tells me that not only were they doing agriculture in this nice zone here, but it was sort of fine agriculture. They had to get in with, you know, they didn't want this little stuff in their way. Right, exactly. So this is, I'm going to just hang out sort of here for a while. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you could, I just, when I was walking down to see you, you can see even over there, there's piles of field stone. So they were attempting to clean that side too. It could have been flat 200 years ago in there. Oh yeah. All right, I'm going to end this clip while... That thing's going over, so I don't have to listen to it. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Damn, did you see this this wheel, this rim? I hadn't made it there yet. Well, that's part of the tree now. It is, in fact, part of the tree. That is amazing. That is an old rim. Well, two more uh, Model T caps have popped up already. Oh, nice. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. I'm standing here in a break in the wall and Dame's thoughts and presumptions were right. 
that has got to be six to eight feet wide in some sections and just keeps going they did some massive rock cleaning on the left side the right side is a bit texturous but again it may have looked completely different you know a couple hundred years ago but this is insane so I'm out doing a little colonial forest bathing. I just left the wall we were on, walked all the way down to the end, banked to the north, came all the way down. There's a massive dump over there. A lot of early 1900s automobiles start coming back up the wall here. And listen. Ha <laughs> ha. It looks like a clad dime. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to hear it. All right, here's something kind of cool. Being that we've been observing the insane walls here, that is all that is left of this hoe. That doesn't surprise me with the amount of rocks that they cleared out of here. And you know, when you look around, it's not flat, really. I mean, it's smooth, but it's not flat. And they did one hell of a job back in those days cleaning this out. So finding something like this is is wonderful actually. So what have you been doing working up towards the top? I've scanned all the way down to the wall. I got uh, two good targets on this side and another one on the other side. Were the targets in this general area? On that, like that path that runs along the wall. Oh, okay. And then the other one was up near the rise just over the wall. Okay, the reason why I ask is when Dame and I were here earlier this uh, summer, right uh, Right down over there is where that, I told you, that caved-in well is. Oh, no We kidding. found things. Something was going on. Around here, yeah, right it here. must have been. A scutcheon, I'm assuming. Huh. Yeah, that's definitely a relic. And then, sorry, Chrissy. <laughs> I found a nice thimble. Beautiful. Yep. And then what I thought was going to save the episode was so close. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little fancy sunburst on the back up near the top. It's dirty though. Beautiful. Right. Good job, man. Other than that, just this weird thing. I have no idea. I thought it was a bullet at first, but it's threaded. Oh, yeah. Sound good? Oh yeah, it sounded beautiful. <laughs> Tight? Yeah, it rang up almost like a dime would. Yeah, I, I actually found a dime. I was actually looking around for you before I dug it. I'm like, whoa, this is going to be good. <laughs> and then when I saw that, I was like, oh, it's a bullet. And I pulled it out. I was like, that's not a bullet. Cindy is working the massive pile of field stones we showed you earlier. She may just come a quarter mile over, so. On my whites, I got a 67, kind of a penny type signal. Mm -hmm. I can see something on edge down in the hole here. Looks maybe silver or button, I'm not sure. But the tone is high enough, but hopefully it's a silver. The area is right there. Oh yeah. So, what do you think it is? Baby time back. Is it? Yep. Oh, sweet. Nice, very good. Awesome. This is uh, one of Keebs's favorite environments to work around because of all the rock tossing that happened. So, good job. And Beautiful. actually, I don't know if you remember this early spring, but Wainos figured he'd start searching on the pile and he pulled a shoe buckle frame and an ox knob right out of the pile. So definitely wow. give it a Perfect. tickle while you're here. Good job. Just That's what we're hoping for. She's she's all about the 1700s, baby. That's right. Today, 1700s. So Cindy pulled this out, and it is definitely pewter. Um, it's coarsely spiralated, so it done screwed into something. Is it like a uh, not a bung tap, but the thing a that, plug? A plug? A bung plug? <laughs> You tell us. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Yesterday I wasn't so good. It was like, oh. 
there's something wrong. I mean, coming out here though, crawling around in the dirt and the leaves and everything, I'm telling you, it's it revitalizes you. It's colonial forest bathing. I guess so, but uh, you know the the isotopes and the enzymes that are in the ground. Right. You need those. You soak them in. You ingest them. I'm reborn. Woo! <laughs> Somebody give me a relic. <laughs> So I was walking along the wall, right? And you know how I love walls. Yep. Found a dime. Nice. I heard because I did too. 72. 67. Oh, nice. <laughs> Red. Yep. <laughs> Ta-da. But this. Oh, this. Oh. I'm going to have to. You got your light handy? Sure do. All right. I'm going to need your brush too because we'll show everybody this first. Huh? 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 See the shield? Or is that a harp? Oh, could that be a two cent? I think so. It's been a long yeah. time. Uh, a two cent? Or is that, a, that's not a harp, that's more like a two cent, right? What is it? It's a, I can't even recall. Is it a, it's a shield on one side, yeah. and then on the other side is the wreath and it says two cent? Oh yeah, and there it is. Wow, that's actually in really good shape. Well, that you clean nice. it. You clean it some now. I wouldn't touch it. Really? It's yeah. not going to fall apart. It's in too good of a shape to fall apart. Wow, that's deep. Um, five, hmm. seven, two and five and seven. I'd say. Good job, man. That's exciting. Yeah. Coin confirmation. Check. Eighteen sixty-four. Awesome. Yeah. Very awesome. Like, bam. All right, as soon as I'm done with my coffee, I'm going to head over to where you just were. It's the ground, man. It's like... <sighs> yeah, no doubt. All right, so heading out, Buenos is dangerously close to the ant colony. Yeah, um, not that far away. And he dug a spill. Yeah. I don't know what those are. One of them's got writing on it. Oh, yeah, you definitely got a spill. I've seen them before, but I still don't know what they are. You got little, little crimp things on the back. Oh, yeah. Some type of fastener or something? Let's see if we can get some inscription off of the, it. This one here has the most on it. It says, looks like lift, the, and that last part looks like D-O-T. Well, you are correct. It says lift the dot. Hmm. Is that instructions? Should I be looking for a dot to lift? They look vaguely familiar, but neither one of us are registering. Yeah, I'm not sure what they are. I know they sounded great. <laughs> oh, you give it a you give it a check. I'll show them. That's why it ran up. There was a screw in there? Yeah. Flathead. Almost like a machine screw. It doesn't have like a, a wood or a metal thread. Right. Huh. Check again. Right? All right, good call. <laughs> Guess I better check the back side of these trees, huh? All right, so there's five of those and then his other things bill before we get to you and and your reports being that you're one of the wise veterans of the group Wainos dug a spill whoa yes and it i mean all kinds of stuff and five of them we can't even id well, let me see what... Because we're missing the dot. Of course you know what those are. No. We actually, we don't. They're on tarps. There's a little pin on the other part of the tarp that pops through that hole and holds it down. It's a snap. Uh, tarps on the backs of trucks. Uh, uh, first thing you do... Boats, uh, camping right. gear. That's the same. That's, that's the, the bottom button. piece right there. They snap right on. 
Oh, <laughs> you know what? I got you. Uh, old. Old. Yeah, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. You're right. welcome. Yeah, there are two little springs inside here that fit through that protruding dot. Okay. And that's what they snap down to. How did you do finds wise? Yes, that's a embarrassingly point. poorly. I was looking for all the club in all the wrong places. Well, looking for Lou in all the wrong places. Yes. Right. Um, there's a proper break in the wall here that's about one rod wide. That yes, we saw that cart. And there's a second wall down. So there's a path that goes between those breaks. Where would I find a crotal bell, which is my suspension? Right. Walking that path. So I walked that path a few times. I did not find a crotal bell. On the other side of the break in the second wall, I did find my very best find of the week. <laughs> nice. This was rooted eight inches deep with roots all across oh, it in course. different directions. It took me about a half hour to work that out. I'm glad it wasn't the crotal bell. That must have made you forking mad. It was. Because <laughs> uh, if it had been a round item, I don't it? know how I would oh, you have, have got it out. worked it out from the roots. This thin horse uh, oxen shoe I was able to do so. And the other item I found on the other side of the second wall is a um, two-piece button, but the face of it is gone. Right, well, how can button. you say you're not doing good, man? You did That's, better than I did. I'm not he doing good. Uh, but I found oh. Beth. Beth was doing good. Did good. she hear you call him? No. No? Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know that musical reference. <laughs> very good. But Beth was doing very well. Yeah. And you know that really makes me happy to bring a guest out here who does very, very well. One rock at a time, Cliff. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hi, Charles. I, I don't. He he didn't even know I was here, and I just I just I see heard him. You sneaking up. Oh, okay. I just see you trying to pull that one rock out, and I'm thinking, <sighs> what's he thinking right now? Damn Boulder. I mean Boulder Dam. Yeah, give you back a break, man. That's back breaking. It is. Let me see your thing. Stand up. Straighten that thing out. I can hear it. Said it was a 56, which after all the 25s I've chased today, that's kind of nice. Well, I came over to notify you that we just found out from one of the locals. Yeah. That across the street where the cellar hole is. Yeah. It is in fact actually now town property. Oh, so that's we can, cool. we can go do some rim tickling together. That'll work. Other than that, how you doing out here? Oh, you know, if there's any beer cans missing, I have found them. Yeah? Yeah. Any ox shoes? No ox shoes. Um, Cindy and got her a spoon. I heard. We haven't tossed yet. Yeah, good for her. They're on it. Yeah! <gasps> what did I just... Yay! <laughs> ox shoe! <laughs> Woohoo! What did I just ask you? Yeah. I'm happy. Oh, that is funny. You know, yeah. me and my ox shoes, I have a love for the transportation parts. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'm heading up to do some rim tickling. I'm heading that way. Let's do it. <laughs> Say that again? No. It's, uh, you thought you had a World War I helmet? <laughs> I thought so. Isn't that off the back of a... Um... It is. It's the uh, pumpkin off a carrier <laughs> of a big truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I had it. I was going to pick it up on my way out. Oh my god. You got one too? Hey, that's it. All right, everybody show their shoes. I, I worked hard to get this shoe out from under roots. I'm Mine's proud of this. sun dried. What do you got? Oh, it's, wait. It's a big boy. I think nice. I got the match to yours. So, four shoes in here. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. Oh, no, wait a minute. Here we come. But wait, uh, he's got. Damien's got handfuls. One, he's got a two, plethora. 
three. This one's very skinny. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, you can see the, where it was holding. It's uh, you know. Wow, that is interesting. How and that one is thin. They're they're all left. So that's seven oxen shoes amongst us. Oh, it was like the gloves I wore on Monday. <laughs> Wait, that is a. Oh, that's a match pair. There we go. Right and left. So here's the thing. Figure eight, Kevin. And this is so stealth diggers. We had talked about it in the beginning of the week, but before, but forgot to carry on through the week. The challenge is on amongst all of us, while the Colorado crew is here, Shack West to see who can dig up the most oxen shoes over the week. But everyone here has a good memory, so we'll be able to calculate, and we still have, we still have some time to go. Because this is my first all week. Mine this too. This is my third, I think. But... This is either five or six for me. I know I left one <laughs> sitting on the chair out in front of the shack. I think it's five. I'll go with I don't five. know, and all the excitement I forgot. forgot myself. Was it five or was it six? <laughs> all right, so now in this section we're gonna work the cellar hole, right? So I walk right over here. Somebody's been anal analog digging this area big time. So I get a signal right on the surface. Look at that. It's an escutcheon. So whoever was here visually did not see that and along with it is actually a beautiful nail. So that's a good way to start. I have a feeling they might have missed a lot. This one has been digging, haven't you? Yes. Wow. Oh man. All from here over. Are you kidding me? This stuff was the other day. Look at all that. Just, oh, wow. Stop and some flops. A little button. Nice. You found another different kind of button. Yep. Oh, you did good out there. That's why I'm so muddy. Or dirty. Awesome. All right. Well, round two, round. rim tickling. Okay. Yeah. Say that again. I got like six or seven oxen shoes. Okay, because we just reestablished and forgot to mention at the beginning of the week, there's a challenge on amongst the group to see who can dig oh, really? oh, the most man. oxen shoes over the course of the week. Dame is in the lead, I think, by five. If you've got six or seven. I think that's what I've got. All I know is I had to go back and empty out my pouch. All right, well, we'll tally up on those later. Yeah. Alright, I just dug something that I have no idea what it is, but when I first looked at it, my first initial thought was it looked like some kind of magazine. That is my first initial thought. I mean, it could be a magazine for different stuff. My second initial thought is a pitch pipe. You think? That's my second initial. Could problem. you give it a test run for us? See if it uh, sounds... Don't put your no. muzzle in that thing. <laughs> no. Well, that's about what it looks like cleaned up. No idea. But definitely the first one I've dug or seen. And uh, I like it. Now you got one? Whoa! It's obviously smashed, but capped to a lipstick, maybe a fountain pen. Now that is completely different. That is pretty looking, huh? Pretty fancy, but I, I couldn't see any, no, it's just more design. I thought it... Good job, Bill. I... Right, oh, right in the lip, huh? Ah, in the lip. Nice. All right. Let's make it an episode. Are you ready? Oh, I am ready. Yeah. Let's make it an episode. Oh, wow. Cindy and not only dug a spoon. Wow, it's a big serving spoon. Made by rubber set. It says made by rubber set? I think so. 
Oh, that's different. It does say Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not too old. Yeah, but the boys. Boy Scout? Yeah, Boy Scouts have been around for a long time. <clears throat> we heard you yelling, buddy. Spoonage. Oh, yeah. Nice one. It's intact. I've never found a complete one. Really? No. I usually yeah, find, yeah. like, the butts, the bowls, the ass necks. <laughs> <laughs> what? We just love the term ass neck around here. Do. Nice. This one got gnawed on. She probably made him take his porridge out to the barn because he's been a bad boy. <laughs> right. Well, I see a lot of feathers over here, so something has definitely eaten a meal here. Uh, nice. All right, so I'm going to join the boys over at the barn here for a bit. And I just got a shotgun shell-like signal. But I have part of a suspender. So, that makes me happy. This uh, place is absolutely loaded with signals. So, we'll get some time out of this. Oh, inside the barn. Rocks are the theme. Oh, yeah. There's no other sound in there, so I don't know if it's under the little cave in here. Or... Give me a hand, Jack. Part of a pewter buckle, huh? Is it pewter? It looks I it. I think it. I think so. Very nice. Yeah. And actually, you're you're in the cave in, so. Yeah. I was just swinging around the rocks. I mean, there's a lot of ammo signals around, but I figured I'll go near the turkey guts. Why not? You're standing in them pretty much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Nice. <laughs> Losing me sniffing at the boots when I get back. Oh yeah. So I'm taking a walk over here where these people have been analog digging and leaving lots of stuff. And then I see this. It's a big bridal rosette. Surface find. Somebody left it. They dug it up and left it. How cool is that? Five. You little glutton. Bess also got a doorknob, which is very cool. Whatever that is. That is weird. Huh. Nice, good job on the shoes. So I, I'm thinking that might actually put you in... In first place. Or tie with Dame. For uh, the week. Uh, yes, tie with Dame. Put it somewhere. So Cliff yeah. looks at this and tell us. I believe it's a cannibal. And if you look right here, something broke off that was probably attached. It was probably the handle. So Cliff's thought is that this could very well be a candle mold. And that's that's pretty cool because uh, we ain't never done seen one before. No. Thanks. You're welcome, Charles. So we had a great day here. Um, we started out on this side of the road, which we were doing very well and enthusiastic about. And then when we heard the news that the other side is now actually town forest, that's great. That opens up a whole another side of the road for us. And unfortunately, we only had a short bit of time to pick away, but spoonage, we got a toss spoonage, out of it. Yeah. A couple Some of great other relics, too. Yeah. yeah. As of today's episode, uh, stated earlier, the Oxen Shoe Challenge is on, and currently, Beth and Dame are both leading with a tie of five shoes. Everyone call it out. I've got one. I've got one. I got one. Three. Three. Five and five. Uno mas. And yourself? One. One. Good. As Please of start. today, I just entered the entered the challenge. So now it's time for us to get out of here, go eat dead animal, socialize, and prepare for the next dig day. We will see you all very soon. Till next time. Stay young. Always keep them guessing and live free or die. That's right. You could hear the echo. That was cool. Not a bung tap, but the thing. A that, plug. A plug. A bung plug. <laughs> <laughs>
You tell us. <laughs>